Hi, I'm Alma Cuervo, and uh, I'm the narrator of Julia Alvarez's book, Afterlife. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful book, a wonderful book to read in these times when we're quiet and, uh, and isolating to a certain extent. It's a book about journeys to my mind, uh, physical journeys. There are trips to uh, Massachusetts, uh, to uh, Chicago, to uh, from Mexico to the United States, trips in the car, listening to podcasts, but more central to the story of Antonia, the protagonist, is her journey in the course of this book to um, to find herself, not in the way that a 20-something-year-old would find themselves. For now, she's no longer defined by the choices she made at that point in her life. Uh, she's no longer a teacher. Her husband has recently died. Um, she's even being redefined in her relationship with her sisters and to some extent with her community. Um, and in a, at a point in her life where she's feeling very physically and emotionally, especially emotionally spent, she's required to help people in moments of crisis. And the question becomes, as she puts it, uh, who is the most important now? Uh, is it more important for her to take care of herself in those moments so as not to become a burden on anybody else? Or is it more important to suck it up and help people that are really needing help? Um, it's a beautiful and vivid story, very truthfully told and uh, and very illuminating, and uh, it's worth your time. Uh, I had the pleasure just a few weeks ago of reading the book in Spanish. It's called Masaya, which just deepened my love for this book. Um, I think you'll like it, and I think it's a it's a book that will put you in a good place uh, to deal with all that's going on in the world today. <laughs>